and after the azan or the proclamation the next step which all people who are going to offer the salah the next step is performing wudu and in one of our previous sessions i in detail talked about the excellence of performing wudu but repeating again that what is the importance of wudu and what it leads to Hazrat Abu Hurairah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu reports in Bukhari and Muslim that Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was within his companions and he asked them that if there was a river at the door of one of your houses and he go down into the river and he washed himself five times a day would there be any filthiness remaining on his body the companions agreed and they said that obviously no filth would obviously remain on the body of the person who would who would get down and take a bath or a dip in the river five times a day and then prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam added that is like the five times of prayer by allah which obliterate the sins of the believers and it is because of what it is because of the wudu of the salah in a detailed narration the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has explained us as we've discussed previously also that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has clearly announced that wudu is a cause of obliteration of all the sins of the washed parts of the body which we wash by the water of the wudu the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that when the believer washes his hands then the sins which were committed by the hands even under the nails they are forgiven when the person washes his face all the cleans his mouth then sins of his mouth of his tongue of his face even under the eyelashes they are washed off and they are all forgiven and then when he washes his his feet and then he rubs his hand over his hair then all the sins of these exposed body parts which are in fact the parts of the body with one with all of these we we sin in any case so all the sins are obliterated because of this wuzu and similarly it is wuzu which is a cause of raising the ranks of the sala also